Secondhand RF. Some measurements on BART trains inside the tunnels. Let's spend about five minutes underground, at least six feet from any cell phone user. Part 1, Glen Park Station to 24th Street. I've measured RF in BART trains many times, and these levels are typical. In a crowded rush hour train, the levels can exceed 500 on the display, equivalent to 50 microwatts per square centimeter. In order to have cell phone service underground, BART installed repeater antennas in the tunnels. The antennas themselves, as well as each individual phone, emit RF. The recent cell phone right to know ordinance passed by the San Francisco Board of Supervisors says, avoid using cell phones in areas with weak signals, such as elevators or on transit. A cell phone uses more power in a BART train in order to transmit. More power means more RF. One and a half minutes, RF exceeding 30 microwatts per square centimeter. Part 2, 24th Street to 16th Street. Any metal enclosure will intensify levels of radio frequency radiation. The energy cannot pass through the metal walls of the car. Inside a bar train, the RF energy bounces around, meaning that even a passenger not using a phone is exposed to significant amounts. The changing number is the current level. The smaller number below is the max level for that period. The graph shows recent measurements, and the LED lights on the side indicate green for safety and red for high levels. About a minute and a half, RF levels exceeding 15 microwatts per square centimeter. Part 3, 16th Street to Civic Center. Some people have begun to change how they use their phone to reduce their own exposure. Still, here I show that even non-users are exposed involuntarily. Texting and smartphone internet use have cut the cell phone chatter that used to be a part of BART ridership. But the invisible and silent effects on BART have increased as more people are accessing more data in more places.
about two minutes. RF levels exceeding 35 microwatts per square centimeter. My conclusion, even several feet from any cell phone user, a BART passenger is exposed to significant levels of RF inside the train while in tunnels.